My name is Nolly Lynn Skinner. I am 24 years old, originally from Moulton, Texas, now living in Coleman, Alabama. The first question why I would like to attend Desperation College really just comes down to obedience. I felt like the Lord has placed this on my heart and honestly he's placed it on others to be able to confirm that. And so this application is just learning to say yes, Lord. I'm willing to do what you ask me to is really what it comes down to and that's that's huge compared to where I was um, just a piece of my testimony and how was I was raised Catholic I did everything I was supposed to I had a very religious mindset I was always under the understanding that performance meant you grew closer to the Lord and if you didn't perform a certain way or if you failed to do something well the Lord was done with you he didn't love you and he couldn't use you and I was in Jacksonville Florida and a dear friend of mine Matt Scott I knew he was very well familiar with the word I asked him I was like Matt why do Catholics why do they worship Mary and he was so sweet about it and he was like you should come to church with me and I did, and there I was, 21 years old, in an old Baptist church, sobbing, giving my life to Christ. I knew exactly who God was, or I thought I did, but I never knew I could have that relationship with Him. I never felt Him. I never understood that He was always there with me. And um, the biggest challenge for me really was and still is that it's just truly receiving the grace to know that regardless of how much I screwed up, he can still use me. And for me, that fear and that inconsistency really, you know, the lack of self-discipline has, has really kept me paralyzed and kept me from moving, moving forward. I've always been so connected to my feelings that I, if it didn't feel right or if I just didn't feel a certain way, I wouldn't do it. And that's what I've been struggling with, honestly. Like, prime example of that is I've committed to go to Camp Trisplosion. I absolutely love those kids. And I, they're my life. I mean, I just, I'm so excited to see that competitive side of them come out. But I've never left my daughter overnight and I'm doing that for two nights and three days. But the Lord just keeps telling me there's so much on the other side of this fear. There's so much. Just trust me. And honestly, I'm doing just that through Desperation College, through Camp Trisplosion, just learning to say yes, Lord, and understanding that my feelings don't dictate my actions, but His Word does and what He says. I'm wanting to really be able to walk by faith and not by sight. And the steps that I'm taking to overcome that is really just being intentional with my time with the Lord and being intentional with the people I spend my time with, you know, understanding that I decide what I receive and what I don't and I decide what to spend my time on and I can't pour out if I'm not getting poured into. So it's taking the time to watch sermons, study sermons, to be able to study devotionals and study the word in general. It's being intentional with just taking the time to decide, yes, I am going to pour into the Lord and I am gonna just have that desire to be with him and it really just comes down to the four of my personal devotional time has been a little different now um, here recently it's been at night when Jared and Lillian are both asleep that's my time that I can truly just have that time to study without the distractions without anything else and it's worked great it's um, I've noticed a huge difference just in the eagerness to want to continue to do that and the eagerness to want to learn more of who he is and I'm really really excited to be able to learn more about his character and what he has for me through Desperation College. 